In today's video, I will teach you how to design your own wedding program in Canva. Let's get started. First, open Canva and in the home page, type in the keyword wedding program on the search bar if you would like to customize one of the hundreds of available wedding program templates in Canva's template library. To choose the right design for you, you can simply enable some of the filters on the sidebar to narrow down your choices. You can also start from scratch by clicking on the blank template option at the first row of the template library. And to start from a custom size page, you can simply click on the create a design option at the upper right corner of the screen and click on the custom design, then input your desired width and height. And once you've opened your canvas or template, simply click on the element or illustration that you would like to customize. To edit the text, simply click on the text that you would like to edit, and on the top panel, you can change the font style, the font size, and the color of the text. Canva also has different text presets if you can't decide which font style to use. Simply open the text tab and choose among the text combination presets, then drag and drop your chosen preset onto your page. To add elements to Canva, you can simply open the Uploads tab and import the images from your computer, or you can use Canvas Free Images in the Photos tab. You can also make some adjustments and apply filter onto your pictures by clicking on the Edit Image button at the top panel. Just play around with the settings until you're satisfied. If you wish to add graphics and illustrations onto your wedding program, simply open the Elements tab and drag and drop illustrations and graphics onto the page. If you wish to share your work to your collaborators, simply click on the share button to invite people to either simply view the design or give them added access. Anyone you send a link or email invitation can access your design on their own Canva account and from any computer, iOS, or Android device. To save your work, you can simply click on the share button at the upper right side of the screen and select download and choose the right file format. I highly recommend using PNG or JPG as the file format. And you're done. If you found this video helpful, kindly like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell so that you can be updated whenever we upload new tutorials.